Inflation adjusted annuities. Stan the annuity man, America's annuity agent, speaking to you from like down low. Why? Inflation adjusted annuities. Because you, they keep raising your income, right? You want people to raise it, or do you want me to just stand here and look like I'm, I'm falling, I'm falling, and I can't get up? Hey, enough about that. Enough fun for a while. Let me um, get in a better position to talk to you about inflation-adjusted annuities because there's pros, there's cons, there's good, there's bad, there's plants to my right, there's plants to my left. We'll get to all of that right after this. Okay, inflation adjusted annuities, pros and cons. Here's the good news. I'm bringing good news. By the way, producer, we haven't talked about my t-shirt, Spinal Tap. If you haven't seen that movie, it's kind of fun. It's a spoof on rock and roll. One of my good clients sent me this, so I appreciate that. So Spinal Tap, one of the loudest bands in England. You didn't know that, did you, producer? All right, inflation adjusted annuities. The good news, as I was saying before I was interrupted by my own self, I interrupt myself sometimes, you already own it. You already own the best inflation annuity on the planet. Social security. It is an annuity and you're like, no, it's not. I love the people that call me up and say, I hate annuities. They just call me up just to pick a fight. I hate annuities. I'm like, you already own one, Fred. No, I don't. Never would buy one. You've been contributing to it for a long time. It's called social security. Social security, as I say in the South, it's a lifetime income stream. It's a guarantee. You can never outlive it. That's an annuity. That's what annuities do. That's what annuities are the only product on the planet that can do that. Now, the reason that I say social security, social security is the best inflation annuity on the planet is that the increases to your income stream, it's a political football. It's the people in Washington deciding to increase the income stream at their whim because they love you voters out there and the people that get social security, a lot of them are voters. So that's the reason it increases and that's cool. By the way, social security, I keep saying that wrong, social security was never put on the planet to be a primary source of lifetime income even though it is for far too many people. Um, it was not put on the planet for that but people are using it for that and in the current environment, it looks like the, there's politicians that want a guaranteed income stream. Not sure how that's going to work or how we pay for that. But until that time, you probably need more income. You probably need income to increase in your perfect scenario. Let's talk about how annuities do that. Can annuities increase your income stream over life similar to Social Security? The answer is yes. But annuity companies don't give that away. Remember that lifetime income streams from annuities is a combination of return of principal plus interest based on your life expectancy at the time you take the payments. Now, let's just talk about how you can add increases, pros and cons. The pros to increase in your income for life is pretty basic, right? It's, it's going to increase income and that's always a good thing. But with the life insurance companies that issue annuity contracts for lifetime income, like single premium immediate annuities, deferred income annuities, qualified longevity annuity contracts, and income riders, they're not giving that increase away. For example, like an immediate annuity, if you add a cost of living adjustment rider increase, let's just say you say, Stan, quote me the best single premium immediate annuity for me and the wife. We want it to start in 30 days from the policy being issued, and we want a 3% increase on that income every year. So it's just gonna to continue to increase by 3% every year. That's fantastic, but visually, the same annuity without that COLA starts here, the same annuity with the COLA starts here income stream-wise. The annuity companies do not give that away. Just look at about a seven to nine year break-even point. I mean, don't hold me to that, but just ballpark it from the standpoint of, of how long it will take for your COLA annuity to reach the same payment level as the non-COLA annuity that you could have purchased. So the question you have to kind of look at, is it worth that increase for the lower amount of payment? No good answer to that, just bad sales pitches. In the current go-go world of annuity sales pitches and bad chicken dinner seminars and bad ads on the, on the radio and horrible ads on television, I mean, seriously, they're, they're, it's, it's like the wild, wild west out there, especially when it comes to indexed annuities. I have no problem with indexed annuities. I probably sell more indexed annuities than probably most any 
I'd say 95% of the agents on the planet, I sell more than they do on index annuities. Not because I'm enamored with, it, with an index call option. It's going to get you CD returns. That's what indexed annuities do. That's what they've historically done. That's what they were designed to do. Okay. But, you know, that's not how they're sold, unfortunately. They're sold as market return products, etc. Now, a current group of products and carriers are out there that the sales pitch goes like this. And before I say it, it's not true. So just calm down. Because when I say it, you're going to be like, that's it, Martha. That's exactly what I'm looking for. They'll say, okay, you buy the index annuity and you get an income rider attached to it. And the income stream increases by whatever that index call option increases by. Stop. It's not, stop. I know you want it. I know that's what you've been pitched. And there's agents out there that go, that's exactly what I'm selling, where you're selling it wrong there, Chester. Remember, even with indexed annuities, when they increase that income stream based upon this non-guaranteed index call option return, what do they do? Just remember this. If you walk away with one thing, remember this. Not the frame of my face, not that. Without an increase, with an increase. Income stream without an increase, income stream with an increase. Same annuity, same annuity, same annuity, same annuity. Increase down here, no increase up here. It's that simple, okay? Annuity companies don't give anything away. That doesn't mean that they're bad products. That doesn't mean that you could use them in combination with products that don't have an increase. I had a call the other day and the guy said, you know, I, I've been pitched this blah, 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 da, 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 this product that increases. And I, as soon as I told him how it worked, he was mad because he, you know, he thought that agent had misled him. Whatever, okay? Doubt it. I'm, I'm assuming that the agent just didn't know. He just was hurt, he heard it from his wholesaler and then sold it like the wholesaler told him to sell it, okay? But the bottom line is I said, hey, it's not a bad idea to take income streams without a, an increase and income streams with an increase and combine them. There's no reason why you wouldn't do that um, because you'll have one that's a static payment and then you'll have one that's increasing and then you'll have your social security payments that are increasing. So there's no perfect answers to it, but what you need to take away from with everything when it comes to inflation adjusted annuities, pros and cons. The pros are obvious, the income's gonna increase. The cons, the bad, the limitation is that annuity companies don't give that away and they will severely lower that income starting amount as compared to the exact same annuity without that increase. All right, as you probably know, if you don't, I do these videos every single day, Monday through Friday. I've done one that coincides with this one pretty well. What is the objective of an annuity? Probably need to look at that. But I've talked about a lot of products today, single premium, immediate annuities, deferred income annuities, QLAX, income riders, index annuities. Fortunately for you, I'm gonna send you the books on them. I've written owner's manuals on these. Easy to understand, 50, 60 pages. The good, the bad, the brutal truth. I'll send them to you in this Willy Wonka Gold Foil mailing package, they'll get their unscathed, and you will fully understand how these products work. You can also go to my site at theannuityman.com, use our proprietary annuity calculators to shop all carriers for the highest contractual guarantee. And always remember, you can connect with me personally or someone really, really good on my team, but hopefully you catch me. Most of the time I'm taking all of the calls and I do all of the recommendations, by the way. So. Go to the site, theannuityman.com. You know, we have the videos, uh, replays there. We have, we have podcasts, we have blogs, we have it all. I'm educating the public out there. I am America's top annuity agent. Why? Because I educate my clients before they make a decision. Remember this, in closing, there's never an urgency to buy an annuity, just an urgency to learn about them, the good and the bad. And with that, I'll see you on the next Annuity Man video.